I welcome you to Manchester City's ground, Main Road, for this afternoon's first round Silk Cut Challenge Cup tie. Obviously, uh, with the bad weather, it's only one of three ties that's been on this afternoon, and through uh, consultations between uh, Swinton and St Helens, obviously it's Swinton's tie, it should have been at home at Station Road, and uh, they tried to play it at Bolton, but eventually it's here at uh, Main Road, and at least uh, we've got a match this afternoon for you. Main Road, it's not a strange ground to rugby, but uh, just after the war, it was... Uh, the Championship final was played here for about uh, 11 years, uh, 10 or 11 years, with only, I think it was the 1952 uh, Championship final being taken elsewhere. But apart from that, uh, I don't think uh, it's been used for uh, Rugby League. But we look forward to a good, exciting Challenge Cup tie this afternoon. Certainly one that uh, we can't see Saints missing out on, but even though Saints have injury problems, we know uh, Swinton are... Uh, Injury riddled as well, but they're a second division team, the high flying, second or third in the table. And I just hope that Saints can come up with the two points, uh, well, not saying the two points, the uh, win this afternoon to put them in the bag for a Thursday's draw. It's usually on a, a Monday uh, morning or uh, evening, whichever it may be, but with the, a lot of ties being uh, postponed and played uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it's a uh, Thursday draw this week for the second round. The Saints take the field for this afternoon's first round tie in the 1991 Silk Cut Challenge Cup competition. Still with uh, quite a few injuries. Gary Connolly still out. Paul Bishop. Also George Mann. And here come the Hosters. Even though it's Manchester City ground, it's uh, a home tie for Swinton. But uh, their station road pitch, unfortunately, uh, in the decline of the uh, latter years. And uh, with the bad weather, as I said before, the tie's been switched here to Main Road, Manchester. Saints team for this afternoon. Pelviv is a pullback. Alan Hunt and Les Quirk on the wings. Jura, uh, uh, Jura Fatty is for Swinton, isn't he? Tia Fatty, Beggy Fan and Paul Lockley in the centres for the Saints. Dividing Griffiths to half-back partnership. Evans, Dwyer and Ward in the front row. Harrison, Jones and Cooper. And the back three with Mark Bailey and David Cosgrove. Swinton at one, Ratu, Ronson and Pickavance on the wings, Jura Patty and Danny Griffith in the centre, Edward and Jackson with the half-back partnership, Pusil, Peacham and Morrison in the front row with Tapia, Skeech and Subritsky, the back three. Ashall at 14, Melling at 15. Referee change for this afternoon, it should have been Mr Ollerton from Wigan, but it's Kevin Allott from Southport, not been around for a while, Mr. Allen. Whether he's been uh, dropped to a lower division or what, we don't know. I did see him earlier on. I wondered why he was here, but uh, I know he's uh, like one of the referees, uh, assessors type of thing, or he's the uh, Northwest uh, representative. But anyway, it's Mr. Allen. It's about eight minutes past one now. It should have been a one o'clock kickoff, but uh, this game's been uh, televised live by uh, the British Aerospace on the gantry with us, just a bit further up, but. Uh, Obviously, we've got to fit in uh, with the uh, schedule. Swinton kick off. Sierra Patti up with the ball. As I say, his brother Joe on the uh, Swinton side. Ex uh, Warrington. But there'll be no love lost between them this afternoon. One of about five Rapati brothers playing rugby. Bernard Wire in that uh, puka position. Paul Groves out for uh, three or four weeks with a rib cartilage problem. Dwyer back to Beavers. Beavers preferred at fullback uh, by Mike McClellan this afternoon. Paul Lachlan uh, was fullback at Oldham. To be quite honest, in the first half he didn't look too happy, but uh, he reverted to uh, centre in the second half. But Swinton in possession, with Beavers kicking it upfield. Swinton trying to scamper away. John Harrison doing the tackling. The ball moved out. Tony Morrison. One of the, as it's moved out there, it's on to uh, Logan Edwards, he's still going, he's Logan Edwards. Rapati, but he gets the ball out there to Ian Pickermans, turns the ball back inside. <laughs> well, Logan Edwards should be well taken there, he's there again, Edwards gets it going. Sabritsky, twin to move it along the line. Left centre Griffiths, he moves it out, the ball's lost, and uh, Saints, Jonathan Griffiths comes up with it. Saints will have to move it quickly, Shane Cooper inside, but uh, Sabritsky there moving in on Sean Devine, a hard tackle and he's hurt Devine there, 
but a good tackle from Sabritsky. Sabritsky came in, the ball was fed inside, he went in with his shoulder, powered into Divine, obviously took him unawares, and uh, an early stoppage with the short Divine, Saints stand off, taking that injury. The ball is taken away, Sheen Cooper plays it, the game's allowed to go on while Divine is being treated, Saints still in possession, Kevin Ward, Shoulder charges one off, he runs right into Morrison, but Morrison doing a bit of more within the tackle, holding down. With a good shoulder charge, Ward coming in onto Morrison, and just a, a few words being exchanged there between them. The first penalty going to the Saints, referee Allard. But uh, Sean Devine still being treated, Saints uh, physio, an under-21 international physio, Jeanette Smith. Treating him, he's still down on the deck, maybe an early substitution for the Saints, as Mark Bailey warms up, but it's Stuart Evans, turning the tackle, looking to release, but Gary Peacham has him sewn up, Jonathan Griffiths, trying to scamper away, he's on the break, Griffiths going for the line now, 20 yards, he wants to get up quickly and make it, play the ball, but Swinton there, holding him down, sharp ball from Cooper to Ward, Ward turning in the tackle, and Kevin Ward, the powerhouse forward, he's been playing well the last couple of games, been up for a month with a broken thumb. Beavers, extra man on to Tierrafati. The ball's loose. A double knock on, I think. Is it Twinter that come up with the ball? They must have knocked it to forward, but I think it was Tierrafati that knocked on. Scrum down with a Swinton feed. In the Swinton 25, Steve Jackson, the scrum half, feeds it. Go on again. Oh, I thought it was against the head there. But uh, Swinton come up with the first uh, scrum. Sean Devine back in action now. Well, uh, didn't look anything in that tackle at all, but referee Allard uh, saying it was uh, head high. Obviously, uh, the crowd, it's all below us here on the uh, high gantry position here at Main Road, and nobody uh, shouting for anything. So, obviously, uh, referee Allard there. Uh, whether he's nip picking him up, but it's a penalty to Swinton. They kick up field, just short of the halfway line. Tony Morrison bursting through. I think he's an ex uh, Warrington forward, he's Morrison. Or is he, uh, I don't know, he's a, a, a local lad from Tallinn's lad, uh, Tony Morrison. But uh, it's uh, Gary Peacham, half tacking half back. Swinton bring it blindside. Only solid tackling will uh, be enough today. Swinton moving it across. Job ball there, Logan Edwards. Playmaker in the Swinton outfits there, injury ravaged. But the flying high, as I said before, at the top of the second division. Jora Patty there, trying to scamper through. Job ball from Sabritsky. The Swinton still in possession. Pressing up to the Saints, 25. Well, it looked to him forward there onto Morrison, but he gets the ball away. Swinton still in possession, and it's the scrum half, Jackson comes up with it, but Tierra Patti wraps him up. Jackson now, pick of answer attacked in half back, but Swinton uh, awarded a penalty. Saints not so well, but Swinton being uh, penalised, I do beg your pardon. Obviously they uh, were five yards behind the player playing the ball, in referee Allett's opinion. Yes, uh, quite a lot of that with the uh, the side actually in possession being penalised. Phil Beavers finds touch. Bernard Dwyer plays it onto Stuart Evans. He's brought down right on the halfway line. 15 yards in field and Sean Devine trying to scamper away, but solid tap in there. He and Skeech. Well, Devine is in the walls again. A lot of concern about Sean Devine. Well, he took it. He looks as though it's a, a serious uh, leg injury, ankle or whatever. But Sean Devine, well, he wants to stretch it straight away. A lot of concern there. So Sean Devine, after taking a knock uh, in the early minutes, he was treated. He was back on the field of play. But uh, the referee must have heard a, a crack in that uh, tackle. And. Uh, Referee Allen coming to the touchline, there's certainly a lot of concern about Sean Devine, he's in uh, a lot of agony out there. Sent for the doctor immediately, referee Allen uh, uh, has come to the touchline and he has uh, said to assistant coach Frankie Barrow. Hey, hey, hey. 
So Sean Devine being uh, put on the stretcher. Sits uh, physio Jeanette Smith treated him. With Dave Reed, Sits fitness, fitness conditioner, but uh, Sean Devine in a lot of pain. Sympathetic round of applause for Sean Devine. He's uh, stretching off. So an early blow to the Saints, but Sean Devine there, you can see, see the grimacing on his face. The play carries on. Sean Devine, he'll be taken to hospital. Stewart Hampton at dummy half, turns the ball in field. Cooper along the line to Harrison. He straightens up. Reception committee there. Morrison, Peacham and Sabrinsky quickly in. And Mark Bailey coming on for uh, Sean Devine. Paul Jones. To take it flat footed there, lofty pass, but it's the sixth and final tackle. And Beavers locks it high. Saints run onto it. Awkward ball, but it's bounced dead. Phil Beavers there leading the chase. He put that ball high. Hoping to get a favourable bounce. But Swinton will restart from the centre of the 25 yard line with a tap. Peacham on to prop forward there, Andy Fusil. Peach him again at dummy half. Swinton move it right. Morrison, strong running lad. Well, the forward pass there. Is, unless uh, players allowed to go on. Well, he's played advantage. Beavers to Dwyer. On to Les Quirk. Comes back inside, just Quirk. He'll have to take the tackle. But referee Allen there, allowing the advantage to go. Let the uh, free play go. Paul Jones. Saints moving up with Bailey and Rapati. Now Kevin Ward taking up the running, turns in the tackle to Cooper, Saints spread it, and he moves it quickly, they have an overlap on the left, Harrison to Beavers, but good tackling there, Jura Patty moves in and brings Phil Beavers down, but uh, Logan Edwards taking the knock in the tackle, Cooper again, Lachlan, dummy still has work, but he has to take the tackle right on the halfway line, four Swinton players move in. <laughs> in half-back, on to Phil Beavers, lops it high again does Beavers, but he's taken late, well, play out to go on, Mark Bailey comes up with it, but the touch judges on on this side here, and it's number 12, I think, Skeech, but plays are out to go on, and the ball's lost now, but back and with Saints, but I think it's, uh, was it Skeech that, uh, or was it Sabritsky that uh, took Phil Beavers? Turned away there as uh, the Swinton player came in. It's Sabritsky, I think. But Beavers taken off. Off the ball, and the player will be brought back. Penalty to the set. Sabritsky just being no one. A chance of uh, points for the Saints. Yes, Paul Loughlin elected to uh, go for goal. But Phil Beavers well taken there as the ball had gone high. Well, if that's Swinton's idea, trying to take the man uh, off the ball there. But uh, they'll come unstuck. Provide the officials keep their eyes open. We've nothing to fear. But a chance now for Paul Lachlan. <coughs> Jonathan Griffiths over at the uh, touchline, just being uh, treated, having his uh, knee attended to. As Paul Lachlan, more or less centre, centre field on the 25 yard line. Looking to edge Saints into a two points to nil lead. First chance for points for either team. Saints with a good win at Oldham last week, 16 points to 20. Oldham went down. Tries from Rapati, two uh, brilliant tries from Hubs, four Lachlan goals. With Shane Cooper engineering the whole job. As Lachlan there lofts it well, finds it right between the sticks. 11 minutes gone. Saints with a two points to nil lead. Paul Lachlan's 52nd goal of the season. What's well, Swinton there? Uh, Mixing it, going in hard, well that's what it's all about, going in hard isn't it? Ratu kicks off, Rapati.
Ratsey kicks it far downfield. Ratu plays it on. Shane Cooper comes in to close him up. Gets him at the second bite of the cherry. And for uh, Saints for Swinton back just outside the row 25. Second row forward there, Shane Tapia. Being taken back. Kevin Ward in uh, like nobody's business there. Bringing his man down. Pincham at dummy half, Swinton moving to the right. Front row forward there, Abdi Pusil driving into the Saints defence. Swinton moving it along the line, Sabritsky, short ball there to Rapati. Solid tackling. Saints captain Shane Cooper in there with Kevin Ward and Stuart Evans. Back with Sabritsky again, he chips it upfield. Sits up nice for Vivas, takes it well, moves it over to the left. Bernard Dwyer, that acted half-back, on to John Harrison, he drags it forward a further ten yards. Jonathan Griffith still receiving treatment just in front of us, so that'll be uh, a tragedy if uh, Jonathan Griffiths has to go off injured, Saints half-back partnership. Kevin Ward drives it up, Morrison and Ward uh, tangling again, and... Uh, it's Bernard Dwyer, is it? Yes, that comes up with ball. But Saints still in possession. Paul Jones tries to straighten it up. Logan Edwards quickly in. Cooper. Short ball to Harrison. Well, solid tackling again. Morrison. Not more than we can uh, expect. Swinton keep this up to burn the self out. It's the sixth and final tackle. Comes to Beavers. He chips it through. Well, Swinton on the charge again, it's Jackson, but Cooper wraps him up, good clap tackle from Shane Cooper, and now Ian Pickabance, he's the grandson of Saints director Joe Pickabance, he drives a further 15-20 yards up to the Saints 25, Morrison now for Swinton, up to the 25 yard line and Swinton on the attack, certainly for in a spirited performance together, Joe Rapati, well a bit of obstruction there, certainly look like as the ball going out to Scott Ranson. The local lad Ranson, quite a speedy uh, merchant when he has the ball in his hands. But Saints wrapping uh, Swinton up, and it's the sixth and final tackle of the sequence. Sabritsky there, lops it high. Where the Saints will lay off it, let Swinton take the ball. Well, Sabritsky again, kicks it soccer style. Alan Hunt, virtually uh, first touch for Hunt. But solid tackling three and four, and that's what it's all about. To Oldham did it to Saints last week. They certainly tackled in numbers, took Saints off the game, and that's uh, well to a certain degree. And that's uh, what Swinton are hoping to do this afternoon. Certainly should suit the Saints. A wide pitch, a loose ball, barely tidies up. Gets out of one tackle, just brought down short for the 25-yard line. Swinton urged on uh, to get onside by referee Ellis as John Harrison. Makes 10, 15 uh, yards, 15 minutes of the game gone, still two points to nil. Certainly cup ties are a great leveller, and that's why uh, one of the other ties today is uh, Doncaster and Witness. And Doncaster, they want to play on their own midden, looking to uh, bring a shock off. Certainly, uh, they nearly shocked Saints, what, uh, 20 odd years ago. Remember Saints going to uh, Tattersfield, uh, four points each, they drew in the mud. They won the replay convincingly. Uh, they've had a lot of help from the supporters and what have you to get the pitch uh, playable. But once Saints uh, getting gear this afternoon, I can't see there being any problem. Only leading by two points to nil at present. Swinton still in possession, moving its crossfield. Jora Patti, good break there. Good ball handling by Swinton. Shane Tapia trying to get things going. Sixth and final tackle. But Swinton have possession. But a knock on being ruled by uh, Logan Edwards, the ball uh, hitting the Saints player, coming back to Edwards, but he's knocked on. It's going to be a scrum down with the Saints speed, and Saints are making another substitution. Unfortunately, Jonathan Griffiths going off, being replaced by David Cosgrove. So Saints having to use both the substitutes in the first 16 minutes. Shane Cooper moving to uh, scrum half. The referee, uh, Alan, not happy with the, uh, the scrum. He's still not happy, it's the second time they've packed. Both sets of forwards go in, not the third uh, time. 
Cooper on to Bailey. Weavers had just overrun Bailey there. Well, uh, Swinton raking at the ball. And Swinton have got to possession. And that's perfectly legal. Once the ball's down on the ground for playing, it's uh, available for raking. That's what Swinton did. Shane Cooper, a, a prime exponent of that tactic. But Saints caught on the hop this time, but uh, referee Allen quickly in there, over and uh, over quickly in my opinion, for holding the player down in the tackle. And it's Peter Sabritsky, this well-travelled uh, loose forward, comes in for the extra yardage. Finds touch, just short of the Saints 25, and the first chance of uh, six tackles in the uh, Saints 25 from this winter outfit. Logan Edwards battering his way upfield. No, but you found Andy Fuse, it was. Now with the other prop forward, Morrison. Peacham, that's acting half-back. Swinton making yardage, moving up for 10, 15 yards towards the Saints line. On to Logan Edwards now, steps out to one, flips it up, but uh, into a Saints pair of hands. Saints on the charge, Tira Patti. Beats one, back flips it to Alan Hunt. Looking for the gap. Well, I was watching the action, and certainly uh, the advantage not being played this time by referee Allen. He's penalised uh, Swinton, and in effect, he's penalised the Saints there. Uh, Whether Swinton had just laid off him, but Alan Hunt there, he was on the way, and uh, referee Allen not playing the advantage this time. Saints taking the penalties, four to two. straight into Morrison, up to Dwyer. Pusil wraps him up with uh, number 12, Ian Skeech. Evans again, Cooper, short ball to Harrison. He drives up to the halfway line. Swinton urged to get on side by referee Allen. Blind side play for the Saints. Cooper, he turns it back inside to Werner Dwyer. Quick hands, Harrison. Into space, the ball's lost, it's still loose. Number 11, it's... Uh, Shane Tapia comes up with it, but it's going to be a knock-on, is it? I think, uh, surely a Saints feed. Yes, Shane Cooper has the ball. Tapia knocking on. And Swinton penalised for not packing correctly. Referee Allen's quickly in on the job. As Paul Lachlan finds touch on the main stand side here at Main Road where all the spectators are gathered from both camps. Bernard Dwyer just outside the 25. Ward back to Cooper. Out to Jones, running hard. Brings it up to the 25. Halfway through this first half. But Saints have uh, injury problems. Both the uh, half-back partners uh, of Divine and uh, Griffiths off the field. So reshuffle in the ranks. Obviously, uh, hampers Mike McLaren's uh, game plan. But it's Kevin Ward, just outside the 25. A lot of ball in it to play the balls. Cooper to Dwyer, short ball to Bailey. Swinton sticking to the task. Tackling like demons, but it's Cooper again. Can he weave his magic? Saints have to spread it quickly. Jones, it'll have to be moved to the left. He flips it up inside, Harrison backing up. On to Cooper. Cooper moving through, yes, on to Lachlan. Ten yards short of the Swinton line. Sixth and final tackle. Will, uh, will Shane Cooper have a goal for drop goal? No, Dwyer takes it blindside. Beavers chips it in field. Evans chases it. Yes, Ratu takes it, but he was taken in his own line. He took it on the pull, so it'll be a tap from the centre of the 25. Sabritsky, short ball onto Morrison. John Harrison brings him down. Saints attacking very well there, but just not able to finish off. Still two points to another score in Saints favour, and 21 minutes of the game gone. Scrum half there, Jackson moving across field, Sabritsky again. He's uh, the playmaker there with the Logan Edwards and uh, Steve Jackson in the Swinton ranks. Jackson again, inside to Jora Patti. Had a good few seasons at Warrington to Jora Patti, tough customer. Sabritsky. Kicks for position, boots it downfield, but Beavers well positioned. Play anywhere, Phil Beavers. He's been out with a nasty uh, shin injury, suspected broken uh, shin. 
Only out for a couple of matches. Hunt plays it to himself. Still going through Hunt. Let's see what he can do. 15 yards further upfield. And Saints now moving to the left. Bailey Ward powers at the defence. But solid tackling again. Swinton must be commended. They've tackled like demons this afternoon. Stuck to the task. And if they tighten up, make sure that the opposition can't get through. Hemsworth uh, looking to unload. Jones on his shoulder. Couldn't release it though. Six tackle again. Saints uh, this time just outside the 25. Cooper knocks it forward. It's going to be a, a changeover. First changeover of the match. Swinton in possession. Second row forward, Ian Skeech. Peacham there. Cooper comes up with possession. Knocks it back. Well, the ball's still loose. Certainly a bit of holding going on there, but uh, play allowed to go on. Logan Edwards. Short ball to number four, Danny Griffiths. Good tackle there. Paul Jones. Logan Edwards again. Sees the gap, drives for it. Saints will have to get into him. Make sure the tackle's complete. It's going to come back. Steve Jackson lost possession, but it came back. Bernard Dwyer meets him. Saints urge to get back on side by referee Allen. He was just going to put the whistle to his mouth and blow up for uh, holding down there, but uh, the ball's with Jorah Patty. It's on to Scott Ramson. Gets past one. Paul Laughlin wraps him up. Takes him over to the far side. They're perilously close to the uh, touchline. The Swinton moving cross field again, Joe Rapati. Out to Logan Edwards, good ball, playing skills. Out to Danny Griffiths. Pick of hands, can't take it, he knocks on, and then kicks it into touch. Knock on, indicated by referee Alan Scrum down, right in front of all commentary position, just inside the Saints half, Shane Cooper to feed. with the scrum again, referee Allard. Knocks both sets of forwards to a part while the scrum's fed. But Swinton penalised again. Foot up, have to play the ball. But Swinton, uh, certainly uh, an omen uh, for the Saints in the, the Cup competition, the Challenge Cup competition, on the time that Saints have met them. In the earlier rounds, they've always ended up at Wembley. 61, 66, 87 and 89. So, uh, maybe a good omen. Saints always come up uh, with the spoils against Swinton. And we just hope that this afternoon is uh, no exception. Cooper, Paul Jones. Certainly looked uh, a hip forward from our position here, but referee Allard allowing player to go on. Bernard Dwyer, Harrison, Cooper, Evans. Turns round, back to Cooper, driving for the line, yes, Cooper's going to be in. Oh, broad down short. I thought he'd just be able to slide over, but Harrison through his legs, Dwyer, Bailey, gives the dummy, Bailey's driving for the line, no support. A man on the inside and Saints to the bit in, but surely, all this pressure, well loose, play there, Morrison tidies it up, Saints there, snapping at it, instead of just calming it down. And loose play and Swinton come up with possession. Skeech with possession for Swinton. They bring it blindside, it's on to Andy Fusil. Tira Patty wraps him up, and now the ball's with the Peacham. It's moved inside now, back to Skeech. But say it's penalised there, allegedly going in... Uh, with a fist at the tackle, either Bernard Dwyer or John Harrison being uh, penalised there. Saints now, they're hitting uh, form at the right time. Five match uh, unbeaten run, including a 26 point tall draw, but a poor kick there from Swinton. Alan Hunt gathers it, beats uh, Skeet, but can't get past uh, Andy Fusil. I beg not your pardon, Andy Fusil, Gary Peacham, but Peacham rakes at the ball, and Swinton now in possession. It's a fly what Saints use, and uh, certainly Swinton is uh, doing it today and getting the better of the Saints. It's Skeech and Evans there, 
Evans do it. Well, he's allegedly stamping, but uh, he's just gone for the ball. He's trying to uh, rake the ball back, same as Swinton have been doing. Uh, Stuart Evans there against Skeech. And uh, the Trump's judge came on at this side. <coughs> and safe for penalised. Now with Pickermans. Peacham, that's acting half. Inside, Skeech on to the uh, scrum half, Jackson. Swinton still in possession in the same 25, one of a rare excursions in the same 25. They've not been successful so far and just let's hope for uh, this time's uh, no exception. Ransom coming in field, looking for a bit of action. Not had much uh, chances on the right wing this afternoon for Swinton. But it's Peacham from Dummy Half trying to scamper through. Sixth and final tackle now, and Brett Sabritsky will be here for this ball. Uh, Peacham, well, he went for uh, a drop goal. A hard dummy half on to Kevin Ward. 28 minutes of the game gone, still two points to nil. A tremendous uh, cup tie. Obviously, Swinton sticking to the task. Keeping the Saints down. But Paul Jones coming through with it. 10 15 yards, but there, four Swinton tacklers. And Danny Griffiths taking it up there. Saints moving to the left. Uh, Beavers on to Lachlan, on to Les Quirk. Takes on Scott Ranson, work round the outside, flings it inside to Beavers. But the touch judge has his flag up there. As Beavers comes by the sticks, he touches it down, just for good measure. But to let Quirk there, went round uh, to take uh, Scott Ranson on the outside. He must have just put a foot in touch. But he lofted a lovely ball inside, taken by Beavers, but uh, no try, a scrum down to be formed. Five yards outside the Swinton 25, Swinton feed. Referee not happy with the scrum again. Jackson to feed. Saints being penalised this time. It's a familiar pattern. It's, it's not packing correctly. As, uh, more or less on every scrum we've uh, had what about three scrums I think with clean heels. The rest have been penalised. Swinton fine touch ten yards inside the Saints half. Trailing by two points to nil. Eleven minutes of the first half uh, remaining. Up to the 25, looking to release. Lachlan comes up with it. Well, a knock-off being ruled, but it's in Shane Cooper. Went to Paul Lachlan. Surely advantage to the Saints, but uh, it's a Saints feed at the scrum, so I, I can't see what the problem was there whatsoever. With it coming off, uh, Morris, looks like it come off uh, Morrison's knees. Cooper feeds. Saints push hard, Saints come up with possession, on to Bailey, spread it quickly. Cooper, Paul Jones on the diagonal, quickly closed down there, Shane Tafaya moving in quickly, and uh, the standoff Logan Edwards, Chris David Cosgrove, had to come on for uh, Jonathan Griffiths in the 16th minute, but it's... Uh, Danny Griffiths turned it up this time. He took it up just a couple of minutes earlier. He was shaking his head uh, as he came out of one tackle. But referee Allerty has been quickly in on these injuries and Danny Griffiths there riding in agony. Saints Physio coming on to assist as well as the ball's uh, brought to just uh, away from him while play resumes. But it's Danny Griffiths receiving treatment. Rapati on to Lachlan. Couldn't break free there. Good tackle from Joe Rapati on the far side. Beavers at dummy half. Now on to John Harrison. But Griffiths is just uh, up and about. He's limping, but he's, uh, he's going back. Well, hopefully he's going back. Saints still in possession. Sixth and final tackle. Bernard Dwyer, Shane Cooper, lofted ball to Lachlan. Chips it through for Les Quirk to follow. Well, can Les Quirk? No, it uh, went to uh, Steve Jackson, the scrum half for Swinton. He fumbled it, he knocked it on. It's going to be a scrum down with uh, Jackson knocking it into touch. For a substitute being made with number 14, Ashall coming on to replace number four, uh, Danny Griffiths. 
Shane Cooper comes up with possession from the scrum. Brings it cross speed. Beavers juggles with it. Good ball there to Tierra Fati. Out to Alan Hunt. Can he squeeze it in the corner? Hunt takes him on. Turns inside for a patty. He just couldn't take it. But good play from this right wing partnership of Tierra Fati and Alan Hunt. Hunt went to go inside. He took his man on on the outside. He fed it inside. And Tierra Fati just couldn't take it. He knocked it forward. But it's gone in touch off a Swinton player. So it's uh, with the, a scrum feed. Cooper and Saints now, they've got to uh, get points on the board. Jones, Cooper coming as the uh, dummy and the foil. Jones takes it. Well, raking at the scrum again, and Saints have been done about three or four times with that. That was Logan Edwards this time. Saints in an attacking position, and now the first uh, on the defensive. In the switch of possession, they're still in their own 25 yard area. And Saints being penalised, something in at the tackle. Bernard Dwyer and Kevin Ward uh, I think it's Bernard Dwyer being penalised. Brings the penalty count, six uh, apiece, but uh, Saints taking scrum possession by uh, four to one, I make it. Seven minutes and a half remaining. A score for either side wouldn't go amiss, but... Uh, Saints leading the slender lead of two points to nil. The Paul Lockley penalty goal in the 11th minute as Jackson tries to go through there. But holding back is the, well, uh, certainly uh, referee Allard picking up there. Not a lot of uh, oohs and ahs from the crowd. As pulling back is the indication obstructing the switch of play in his efforts to go through, but Jackson was moving through. He saw the gap. Swinton with another penalty. Andy Fusil runs into Bernard Dwyer. Kevin Ward comes in to assist. You wrap him up, but it's Peacham at acting half-back. Ball being played blindside to Tony Morrison. Good tackling there from Tierra Patti. And Bernard Dwyer again. He certainly gets through some tackling, does Dwyer, doesn't he? Jora Patti there feeds a lovely ball to Tapaya. Looked to hit forward as he went through, but it uh, was certainly a, a pinpoint pass. Jackson chips it up. The ball's still loose. There'll be a knock on rule. Yes, referee Allen there ruling a knock on. Be a certain speed at the scrum. The Shane Cooper there is uh, just uh, organising his troops, telling them what he wants. Make sure this tackling counts. Saint speed and Saints up with possession at the wrong end of the field. Five minutes of this first half remaining. Two points to nil the score. Saints with it all to do. Swinton moving well upfield there. Pinching the ball at the play of the ball in their own 25 and then moving 75, 80 yards upfield. Well, Dwyer, instead of releasing it, taking down the, the Saints ready now. Weavers, short ball to uh, Rapati. On to Mark Bailey. Looking to release it. Couldn't uh, flick it out. Peacham tackled him. Cooper. Watch it, quick hands now. Lachlan, out to Lesquirk, let's see what he can do. Takes Scott Ramson on, turns it inside for Cooper. Real ball released to Quirk again. Well, Quirk's tackle, the ball's flipped out of his hands. It was number two, Scott Ramson came in on Lesquirk. And the power of that Ramson tackle shoot the ball from Quirk's hands. And he puts Swinton back in possession with him on Ratu. He plays the ball now. Peach him up, dummy half. On to Jackson, the scrum half. Misses one out. Swinton on the chad. What a super tackle there from Rapati. Closes him down. Man and ball. Blindside play again from Swinton. Pusil inside the Good ball handling skills. He's on to Logan Edwards. Forward pass to Pickermans. But he's driving for the line. He'll score with Pickermans. He touches down. Swinton with the first try. Swinton, they've stuck to the task. This blindside play from Swinton. Logan Edwards involved there. But uh, the final pass there to Ian Pickermans certainly looked to him forward. All he had to do was run, and uh, any wingman worth his salt, nobody in front of him. He touches down. He puts Swinton in the lead by four points to two. And this conversion attempt from Eamon Ratu to come. 
That's it. Uh, finally, in the Silk Cup Challenge Club for Wembley in 87 and 89. As I said before, we played Swinton on route. A preliminary round in 87, where we just scraped through at Station Road 1816. And last season, at Station Road again, we just came through by 16 points to 5. Never been beaten uh, by Swinton in the preliminary rounds. And uh, last season, controversially beaten in the semi at Old Trafford, just up the road from here, 20 points to 14 against Wigan. With the referee Whitfield not helping us much down there, did he? But uh, Ratu misses the uh, conversion attempt. Swinton in the lead by four points to two. And let's hope that will spur the Saints into uh, a bit more uh, action. Certainly Swinton sticking to the task of uh, putting the Saints down. Good uh, defensive uh, capabilities. Looks Lachlan kicks off, kicks it deep, time running out in this first half. 38 minutes of normal time, plus just that uh, bit of stoppage time for the injury to uh, Sean Devine. On, a, a, on the occasion when unfortunately he was stretched off. But it's Winton in possession, they'll have the tails up now, just uh, going into the lead. They played hard, there's no danger. As far as I'm aware, the last time Saints played on this ground was uh, 1953 in the Championship Final versus Halifax. The ball's kicked up field, Beavers uh, keeps it in there, it bounces in field, Beavers wraps it up. Swinton reception committee come in and uh, bounce into the turf. Alan Hunt. And certainly it's half time. Uh, Coach Mike McClellan and, uh, well, uh, Stuart Evans dropped to the ball there as he went down to the tackle. Swinton break quickly. Over to the right, it's on to Ransom. Quirk misses him, but Lachlan wraps him up. Swinton on the charge again. They'll be looking for more points before the half-time interval. Along the line, substitute Tashall there. But he's wrapped up centre field. Peachy was acting half-back. On to Jackson, Pusil, back to Jackson, short ball there, looked at Tapea, well, referee uh, Alan Pickett up there, a forward just before I could say, certainly looked to him forward, but he saw that one. And as I said uh, before, I think the last time Saints played in 1953, Championship Final versus Halifax, where they won 24 points to 14, Saints go with their scrum possession, taking the scrum 6 to 1, and it's Bailey, beats two tackles, trying to get through in the dying minutes of this first half now. David Cosgrove. Bernard Dwyer at dummy half, Cosgrove finally allowed to get up. On to John Harrison. Into the reception committee, but say it's making ground. They've made about 20 yards in those couple of movements. And Cooper, Kevin Ward, on the break, well trying to release it outside to Mark Bailey. But Swinton uh, coming up with it. Peachum it is. Loose play from the Saints again. As Swinton moves along the line. Jackson, the scrum half. Out to Logan Edwards. Stuart Evans brings him down. Skeet and dummy half. On to Ashall along the line. Sabritsky on to Tapia. Playing in... Uh, Added time now. It's Peacham on to Jackson. Cut out ball to Edwards. Takes the tacklers on. Tough customer this Edwards. Well, that ball's not been played correctly, surely, but it's come out. It's allowed to go on. Sabritsky inside to Jura Patti. Finally wrapped up. Sixth and final tackle now. But Swinton in the lead. Four points to two. Well worthy of the lead. Played well, even though uh, a pint of a forward pass in the try. Sabritsky lops it high. Beaver stands his ground. But it's on to Lachlan and, and Swinton come up with possession. They move it quickly. Beecham. Well, he should have passed that ball along the line. In the dying seconds now. Swinton on the attack. Well, Hunt comes up with it. Saints release it. A chance for the Saints now. Bailey inside to Jones. Quirk's with him, but Jones is taking him on. Quirk on the outside. Jones up to the halfway line. A last chance for the Saints now. Well, Swinton penalised for holding the Saints down. Beavers went up there quickly. Wanted a quick play of the ball. Somebody said something. And Swinton
switch and a penalised again. And Shane's fine touch. Waterhold, ten yards short of the Swinton line. The last chance now. Ward, powering his way upfield. Takes the tackle. We've played two minutes of stoppage time. Bernard Wire going on his own short ball there to Bailey. Shane's have got to get points on the board here before the half time. Who's a well? Referee Allen, he stops play immediately. Unlocking her, Bernard Wire bouncing the ball to the ground in disgust. But what a uh, tremendous end to end game we're having. Swinton sticking to the task. They're closing the Saints down, but the score at half time from Main Road is so Swinton 4, Saints 2. Saints with an 11th minute block with penalty goal, and then pick up and sitting back with a, a try in the 36th minute. It went unconverted to the half time score here at Main Road. Swinton 4, St. Helens 2. from both sets of spectators as uh, both the teams take the pitch for the second half of this uh, Silk Cup Challenge Cup first round tie. The score at half time, Swinton uh, taking a late lead, a late try, four points to two the score. Saints obviously hampered by the fact that uh, the half-back partnership of Devine and Griffiths have both gone off injured. It's half time to the Saints as Paul Lockley gets us underway. Awkward ball, Scott Ranson gathers it, runs it cross field, Bernard Dwyer quickly in. And certainly Dwyer is, uh, must be uh, the top tackler in the Saints ranks. Bit out injured, uh, but uh, obviously having problems getting to the forwards with uh, a lot of competition for the forwards but he's versatile, he can play a two good obviously where he's playing today with the injury to Paul Groves, early penalty just uh, 25 seconds Mr. Sabritsky finds touch on the far side Saints being penalised for a, a high tackle Swinton drive it up hard, Saints will have to get into them, close them down, same as Swinton have uh, done with the Saints Peacham from back to half back scampering away using that blind side ploy but then turning in field. Skeech finally gets up to play the ball onto Jackson, the cross field, Sabritsky looking to release it to the uh, Sheen to pay running on but he couldn't, the tackle was firm. Scrum half Jackson out to Ashall, substitute back but it's gone directly into touch. Scrum down. Saints feed just inside the Saints half. Ashall there kicking the ball directly into touch. Shea Cooper feeds it. Saints come up with the first scrum of the second half. Took the scrum six to one in the first half. It's Cooper again. Quickly on to Evans. Beavers looked loop round, but it's on to Let's Quirk. Quirk has to take the tackle of Ramson. But Swinton look at him how they come back. They came back in numbers. Quirk pushed off, Ramson again goes in for the tackle. On to Harrison, Bailey, Lachlan, on to Jones, he's running hard. Jones still going, inside to Bailey. Yes, the ball, when it was taken before he had the ball, though, surely. But he's still got the possession of the Saints player. D Dwyer, inside to Ward, running hard. It was Tierra Patton, it was taken down, but Saints still spreading it. Bernard Dwyer, Swinton forced to defend. Saints on the charge, Cooper, Bailey, Lachlan, job on to Beavers, out to Harrison, yes, Harrison in. And there's the, uh, a show of the Saints, power play there, with Harrison powering his way over, in the corner here, his third try of the season, 
And that trap to set, Steely scored uh, near the sticks. Uh, when the tier of Patty looked as though he'd been taken before, he'd actually got the ball, he stuck hold of it. The ball was moved out along quite a numerous pair of hands. And the final pass to John Harrison. And he uh, powered his way over in the corner, as you can see, for Paul Lockley there. He's only walked about uh, three or four feet, if that, in from the touchline just outside the 25-yard line. So Saints hit him back in good style, regaining the lead. Six points to four, the score at present with his Paul Lachlan conversion to come. Takes it well. Just uh, going to the uh, right of the sticks. Waved away by the touch judges. So Saints taking back the lead, six points to four, still just two points separating the teams. And that score will come in uh, just over two minutes in the second half. As I said, Mike McClellan have run him the uh, riot act and Saints have been back in good style and they just have to put it together again. Move the ball upfield and power to the Swinton line and hopefully put more points on. Mark Bailey there, instrumental in the, the right-hand side of that move and uh, over to the left-hand side here. But it's Kevin Ward. Strong forward Ward, but being well contained. And uh, yes, number six there going in on Ward. Logan Edwards going in with nothing more than uh, looked like a forearm jab when uh, Ward was on the floor. But St. to Ward in the penalty. Touch foul just short of the halfway line. Swinton making a substitution now with Alex Malling coming on for Ratu. He was certainly uh, holding his arm going off at half time, so he must have an arm injury. But Saints in possession and John Harrison driving it up hard and straight. Jackson's gone to full back now. Cooper onto Rapati. Beavers breaks through the tackle, hunts with him. Beavers drive around to inside ball, yes, it's over for another try. Tira Patti is it? That's Tira Patti backing up. Hunt was on Beavers outside, but Patti on the inside. Rapati bounces it now at full stretch and Saints extend the lead. But Phil Beavers there, instrumental, moving up as the extra man. He had Hunt, he uh, broke through the uh, Swinton tackling, he had Hunt on his right, Rapati leaned on the left, he chose to pass it inside to Rapati, and at full stretch, Rapati there, touchdown, excellent try for the Saints, puts them in the lead, but well, further in the lead, I should say, by ten points to four, and a better chance for Paul Lockley to extend uh, the Saints' lead. Strikes it well this time. Touch judges raise the flags. An eight point cushion opens up there for the Saints. 12 points to four. Let's hope the Swinton bubble has burst now with Saints hitting back with some superb rugby. They just couldn't do it in the first half. Swinton closed them down. But after a pep talk from this master tactician, Mike McClellan at the Saints, and they certainly got it together in the early minutes of the second half. Only six and a half minutes of uh, play gone, and Saints coming up with ten points. Rapati's eight ninth try of the season. Lachlan's second goal of the afternoon, and he's 53rd of the season. Well, how can you rule a knock on there, Mr. Allard? The ball has gone back off uh, David Cosgrove. We know it wasn't played, but uh, he's uh, the judge uh, Cosgrove to have knocked up when the ball went back, and it's Ashall at uh, the scrum half position, a scrum down with a Swinton feed. Saints push hard, and I think Shane Cooper's got possession. Well, he has, but uh, referee Allen not happy with it. Shane Cooper just uh, whispers in his ear, tells him what he thinks of that decision. And from the reform scrum, Swinton come up with possession. They move it on to Jackson, but he's dumped by Les Quirk, him with the point of the shoulder, bangs him to earth. Blindside fly onto Fusil. 
Jones and Quirk wrap him up again. Alex Melling at dummy half, inside to Tapia. He's running cross field, no way through for him. Dwyer and Harrison. Saint Unsung Heroes. Sharp ball there to Jora Patty. Coming through, he couldn't uh, break through. And Jones wraps him up. Runs Bronson at dummy half. He turns it inside to Ashall. Sharp ball there. Whoa, well taken down. Super tackle from Kevin Wander. Man and ball. Bangs him down. Skeets trying to get through. Sixth and final now. On to Sabritsky. Lops it high. Beavers takes it well. No problem with these eyeballs. Beavers. Season can be campaigner at the full-back position for the Saints. And now Saints back in possession, but Swinton pressing them as Bernard Dwyer from acting half-back. Gathers a valuable ten yards forward. Cooper at dummy half. On to Stuart Evans. Brings the ball up to the 25-yard line. Bailey inside to Kevin Ward. Into space well. Cooper taking off the ball there, and uh, Swinton penalised for it. Referee Alice picking it up. Ward coming through and looking to unload the ball to Cooper in support, but he was uh, pushed off. And Saints come up with a penalty, a fine touch, right on the halfway line there. Bernard Dwyer to resume. And an extra ball on the ground. Tony Morrison kicks it uh, into touch. Stuart Evans, first receiver. Saints just running it up, two or three forward drives and then uh, move it out. John Harrison now. Tough customer, but Morrison going in uh, over the top. The third Swinton tackler. Cooper again, Kevin Ward, running rampant. Yes, yeah, good ball to Bailey. Oh, Bailey, the brilliant try. second half with the Saints in such rampant form. Swinton kick off again. Cosgrove takes it. Utility forward Cosgrove but uh, Skeets going in there a little enthusiastically but it's Morrison that's come off uh, worse. It's Skeets and Morrison going in at the tackle on Cosgrove. Now whether Skeets had actually uh, hit his own man as he come in I don't know. But he's down on the ground there, Morrison receiving treatment. Referee Allen showing a lot of concern. So the game temporarily stopped, but the tough customers, these forwards. Well, he stopped the clock there now, as Morrison is receiving treatment from the uh, Swinton physio. Saints still in possession. He certainly uh, tackled hard this afternoon as Tony Morrison, but the game's restarted while he's being treated. Cosgrove plays it. Dwyer takes it cross feed to John Harrison. Turns it inside, well, loose play there as Sabritsky tidies up and Swinton in possession. A rare touch in this second half. Loose play again, but it's loose ball. Must be a knock-on. Yes, referee Allen's ruling a knock-on. Should be a Saints feed. Cooper gathers possession there, ready to feed the scrum that's going to be formed now. Midway between the halfway and the Saints 25. Saints with possession. On to Beavers again. Good play of Beavers. No danger play anywhere for the Saints. And that 
try, the last try on the far side. Uh, and not the, Mark, the one before Mark Byrne, the other a patty try, certainly uh, coming from Beavers. That was the extra man and breaking the tackle. Bailey again, Lachlan can't take it. Quirk can't. Will he play advantage? He does. Scott Ramson comes up with possession. If Lachlan could have just took that there, Quirk could have been on his way. But Swinton in possession, it's Ashall. Young Barry Ashall for Swinton. The other substitute, Alex Melling at dummy half. On now with the second row forward, Ian Skeech. And Melling attracted half back. Blindside ploy again, Andy Fusil going to turn it in field. Well, surely the man was tackled, but he's allowed to go on. Swinton spread it, Joe Rapati. Brother Tia there just coming in, as, uh, making sure he doesn't to move. But it's now with Logan Edwards. David Cosgrove and Stuart Evans bring him to earth. Melling at dummy half. Inside to Sabritsky, kicks for position. Let's work, gathers it safely. Turns around, Quirk. Tries to go past Ranson, but he wraps him up. Good man and ball tackle there from Ranson. Cooper at dummy half to Beavers. Along the line, Cosgrove. Roll down on the 25 now. Paul Jones. Looking for space, diagonal run, but couldn't debate the tackle of Tony Morrison. Cooper, Kevin Ward, looking for support again. Well, Cooper wraps it up. Saints did well there. John Harrison, yes. Mark Bailey. The ball going through a lot of pairs of hands there, and Saints just uh, spreading it well. John Tabibas. Steve Jackson at the full-back position, gathered it. The Saints close him down. Bernard Dwyer, Shane Cooper. Hold him out, Saints with an 18 points to four. Lead now, after trailing four points to two at half time. Hit him back with uh, 12 points. I beg your pardon, 16 points in uh, the first 10 minutes of the second half. Not lining up at the play of the ball is the uh, indication there from referee Allert. Obviously, the uh, man marking the fellow playing the ball. And the, uh, there's two allowed on the play of the ball, it should be in line. But they mustn't have been there, in referee Allen's opinion. And Saints have penalised, it's Morrison. Bringing the ball just inside the Saints, 25. Melling at dummy half. Pusil again. Kevin Ward wraps him up, bounces him down. Well, referee Allen moving in quickly there. The forward struggling to get up and uh, making a bit of a meal of that there was Andy Fusil. Swinton awarded the penalty. They elect to uh, run it. Morrison into uh, Ward and Evans clutches. Melling, uh, Ashall attacked in half. On to Fusil. Better get off him quick, otherwise he'll be wriggling again. Saints lined out on their own try line there. As Ashall trying to scamper through onto Melling, feeds it inside, but say it's wrap him up quickly. Certainly the post there on that uh, side look a little flimsy. As Ashall over to Sabritsky, well wrapped up there, good tackle. Kevin Ward again had a superb game this afternoon. Ashall inside to Morrison, onto Tapia, but good tackling again, and say it's forcing Swinton back. Mark Bailey again. Logan Edwards uh, locked in that high goal, but Beavers up for it. Beavers gets it in the second bite of the Jerry. As the uh, Saints fifth finds touch, ten yards short of the halfway line. Bernard Dwyer to restart, Evans first man in. Lovely ball there as well, Un unlucky there, Shane Cooper just couldn't gather it, but Swinton come up with possession. A knock-on being ruled, it'll be a Swinton feed. I thought Swinton did uh, get possession, regain possession there, but it's uh, Barry Ashall to feed. He goes in for it, surely the struggle has to be formed again, it is. A little shabby these rugby league scrums, the temper's just getting a little heated there. A little bit of friction going on, but Swinton coming up with possession. They move it quickly out, Logan Edwards, barely tackles him, wraps him up. The ball goes out to Peachum, but the ball's loose, offside decision, surely. 
It was offside, that man. He was in front of the uh, player, the Swinton player, as the ball had come out. Well, it's a scrum down uh, ruled. It'll be Shane Speed. And Morrison and Ward being uh, brought over. The touch should be on the far side coming in for whatever reason. But as I said, things were getting a little heated in the scrums. And there's nobody will take much else of Kevin Ward in these scrums. Or Stuart Evans. Saints up with possession from the scrum. Moving quickly, Lachlan. Well, he's uh, had the ball taken off him by Ashall. And Swinton again, they're looking to... Uh, well, the ball's loose. Swinton looking to uh, form a, a charge on the Saints. Saints hitting back in the first ten minutes of this half with 16 points, three tries and two goals. No reply from Swinton as of uh, yet. And 19 minutes of the second half gone. Skeets there, uh, rather enthusiastic. It's Morrison, it's, uh, no, beg your pardon. It's Pusil in possession for Swinton. The moving across for is Sabritsky. On to uh, Logan Edwards. Well wrapped up there by Kevin Ward. Paul Lachlan, referee Allen moves in. Solid game. It is uh, body contact sport. Beavers takes it well. Quirk was inside. Quirk gets the ball now. Good tackle there from Skeet as he comes in. As Les Quirk was making his way across field. Harrison at dummy half. On to Jones. Has to straighten up. Takes the tackle. Just outside the 25-yard line. It's in possession. Leading by 18 points to four. Swinton struggled last week at Fulham, going down by 26 points to 10. They are second in the second division uh, table. They've won 15 out of their 18 matches. Loose play there. Change over uh, the turnover given on the sixth tackle there. Stavritsky to play it onto Alex Melling. Swinton in possession, Morrison. Moving it over to the left. Melling attacked in half. Turns the ball inside. <laughs> Certainly Swinton uh, look uh, a bit bereft of ideas. Zaitz closing them down very well. Jora Patty coming across and feeding it onto Scott Ransom. Steve Jackson backing up, but uh, here's the blindside ploy again from Skeet. She turns inside. Loose play, but well tidied up there by Ashall. Just losing his footing, but Phil Beavers positioning well for the tackle. Peacham attacked in half. Swinton trying to put something together, moving blindside again. It's onto Logan Edwards. Well, he was well wrapped up there by Lachlan. He fed it inside, and Beavers accepted gratefully that loose ball. Cooper, Mark Bailey, overlap for Saints. Bailey signing through, giving the runner. man came in to tackle him, he fed it out to Les Quirk, but uh, Ranson and another Swinton defender coming in and forced Les Quirk into touch just short of the corner flag 18 minutes of the game remaining Swinton coming up with scrum possession there all level, three scrums apiece in this second half with uh, three penalties apiece in this second half Dummy half, moving it to his left, on to Skeech. Still in their own 25, uh, Swinton, and let's hope uh, Saints can uh, peg him down there for the remainder of these six tackles. Well, the ball fed inside to Sabritsky, feed it on to Ranson. Beavers comes in for the tackle. He takes the man down, and then uh, Cosgrove completes the tackle. But Swinton still trying to run it. 
Ed Skeech again, overlap for Swinton on the far side, Jackson coming in, and J comes in field, he's still running his Jackson, the ball's released, Evans comes up with it, flicks it up to Les Quirk, Les Quirk on the left wing, but he's got inside, covering there, as uh, Swinton was pressing, Tira Patti, still stood in the tackle, Scampering away, turns it inside now, Rapati on to Cooper, Cooper dribbles it through, yes, oh, unlucky there, really unlucky, Shane Cooper kicked it through, hit the Swinton player, came back, Alan Hunt came to gather it, and unfortunately knocked it forward. Just inside their own half there, the Saints, but uh, Alan Hunt, flamboyant wingman, could have finished off in style there. Swinton up with scrum possession again. Moving into crossfield, Saints have to come in and close them down. Man and ball, good tackle from Locker in there. That's the way, close the opposition down. Don't allow them to release the ball. Logan Edwards. Taken down by John Harrison. Tucker knocking the tackle, Edwards getting up very slow. As Peacham out to dummy half. Ashall inside to Fusil. Taken down again there, some solid tackling there in the forwards. Kevin Ward, Stuart Evans and David Cosgrove. Sabritsky feeds it inside. Tony Morrison running hard. But he's down here, Logan Edwards, still uh, receiving treatments from a leg injury. Ashall chips it through. The Saints cover defence comes across. Beavers takes it well, does well to keep him field there, does Phil Beavers. As Jora Patti comes in quickly, completes the tackle. Cooper, Les Quirk, rounds one man. Rounds one man, comes back to his wing, but then goes inside again. Saints now trying to battle the way out of the 25-yard area. John Harrison. Melling and Pusil bring him to earth. And Stuart Evans, diagonal run. But solid tackling again, one round the legs, one round the top. So the Saints player can't uh, release the ball as Cosgrove just gets out to the 25-yard area. Sixth and final tackle signified. The ball to Phil Beavers, the kick downfield. Jackson gathers it. Ronson loops round with him, but uh, when the ball's loose, it's uh, still loose and Saints are going to come up with possession. John Harrison. Back to Bernard Dwyer. Harrison wanted to keep it going, but he went to Bernard Dwyer. He came back on the blind side and was quickly closed down. Cooper again, Saints move it along the line. And uh, Mark Bailey, Rapati, breaks out to two tackles. Still driving forward is Tia Rapati. Into space, still going Rapati, flips it inside to Cosgrove. Good play from Tia Rapati there. Twenty-six minutes gone. Kevin Ward, blockbusting run. It's out to Cooper. Now on to Jones for a forward pass. Skinner. Cooper. And the ball finally coming to Jones, and the forward pass spin uh, given by referee Allard was bobbling about a bit. Every possibility of a, a forward pass. Winter up with uh, possession from the scrum again. Five to three, and they've got scrum possession in the uh, second half so far, which is taking the scrum six to one in the first half. Blindside ploy again. Skeech it is that's driving the ball up to the halfway line for Swinton. Peacham attacked in half. Ashall run around movement there with uh, his other substitute, Alex Melling. Peter Sabritsky taking up the acting halfback position this time. And Morrison juggles with it. Flicks it back to Melling. Swinton keep the ball alive. Melling gives the dummy, but he has to take the tackle just short of the halfway. Sixth and final signified there by referee Allard. Sabritsky again kicking for position. It's Alan Hunt on the legs. Plays the Swinton players on and Hunt gathers it. Limited touches for Alan Hunt, but he straightens up centre field up to the 25-yard line. Jackson brings him down. Paul Jones now, and Jackson in for the tackle again. 
Bernard Dwyer assuming the acting halfback position on to John Harrison. 12 minutes of the game remaining. Saints in a commanding 18 points to fall lead. Cooper chips it through. Substitute Barry Ashall lets it run. He gathers it uh, at the second bite. Cooper wraps him up. And now it's pick -abans. I think it's must only be his second touch of the ball since he scored in the uh, first half in the 36th minute. But it's Winton taking it blindside again. Shane Tapia running hard and straight. Get valuable 15 yard forward uh, movement there. Sabritsky on to Morrison. Certainly not a lot of uh, crowd atmosphere here. Very uh, quiet beneath us. But it's Jackson along there to Logan Edwards. Inside ball to Skeech. Well wrapped up. Ward and Dwyer. Sixth and final tattle. The ball will probably goes to Sabritsky this time. No, they bring it to uh, Jackson. He grubbers for touch. Let's quirk. He gathers it. Tech Scott Ranson on. And Ranson and Edwards bungle him into touch. Bad play from the Saints there. <laughs> Swinton had kicked through. Quirk gathered possession. And solid tackle from Swinton. Force Les Quirk into touch. It gives uh, Swinton head and uh, feed. Jackson again. Feeds the scrum, gets possession. Swinton moving left. Logan Edwards looking for that gap. Saints defence come in, close him down. Jones in there trying to rip the ball from Edwards' hands. Jones and uh, Bailey. It's now with uh, Tapia running cross field. Misses uh, Lachlan's tackle. It's out there to pick once again. He turns it inside anywhere and do. It's Tierra Pat. He says thank you very much. And he's off on a run. He comes inside. Cooper backing him up now. Not to Bernard Dwyer, but uh, Dwyer has to take the tackle. John Harrison now. Slowing it down. Just uh, settling the pace of the game down. Saints in the lead. 18 points to four. Ten minutes of the game remaining. A place in the second round draw, which is only going to be held next Thursday, the 14th of February with the uh, lots of matches being off today this is only one of three self cut challenge cup matches being played as Beavers grubs it through to touch and it just run dead it does uh, does so it just runs dead so Swinton will start with a uh, tap restart from the centre of the 25 yard line Melling on to Pusil Ward meets him Ward and Evans Swinton still in possession, but no reply to this uh, second half onslaught of the Saints. Obviously tough in cup competitions, certainly not like a, a league match. It's a great level of the old cup, it's uh, a one-off. And Saints sticking to the task in the second half. 16 points in the first 10 minutes, no reply from Swinton. Loose play there, well... <laughs> The Rapati comes up with the ball, redeems himself, but the touch should he's done on the far side. <laughs> Referee Allard penalises the Saints on the intervention of the touch judge on the far side. And it's Sabritsky kicking for yardage. Certainly not uh, a lot of atmosphere this afternoon here. But at least uh, we have the advantage of the game going on. Being brought here to Main Road. And Tony Morrison running hard onto that ball from Melling. Within 15 yards now on the Saints try line. Swinton trying to hit back, get points on the board. Trailing by 14 points. Back ball there, going right into uh, Bernard Dwyer's hands, up to Stuart Evans. Swinton trying to keep the ball alive. 
But Saints uh, gathering the uh, loose possession and Kevin Ward driving the ball up. Cooper, short ball to Cosgrove. Cooper looping round, but solid tackling again from Swinton. Cooper again, Jones running diagonally. Breaks the first line, Beavers was on his right, but uh, unfortunately the tacklers had turned Jones towards us. He couldn't release the ball, but Beavers there attacked in half. Bailey, on to Quirk. Well, it's touched to Swinton, man, it's all on. Would have been if Saints had come up with possession, but Swinton wrap it up. Certainly, uh, Swinton closing the Saints down at every opportunity. Melling from acting half back, trying to scamper through. Harrison clamps him. Pusil at dummy half, and Morrison running hard. Looking for the gap, it's into space, Morrison. Have Saints got it, or is it still Swinton possession? I think Jackson has possession. Cosgrove just couldn't. Uh, Get down on that loose ball there. Ashall, cut out pass to Rapati. Well, Evans coming in there onto Rapati. The ball being uh, Joe Rapati couldn't take it. Evans coming in for the tackle, but uh, a judge to have obstructed the Rapati. He's quickly up. Nothing wrong with him, but Swinton uh, awarded a penalty. Whether Evans was committed or not, we don't know, obviously he wasn't in referee Alan Ties. To Swinton awarded the penalty. Touch found about five yards from the Saints line. Pusil trying to power his way over, but Ward pushes him back. Melling attacked it half back. Inside to Morrison. Is Morrison's charge there? They've had it right to Rapati. But it's Melling again. On to Tafia, running cross field, but solid Saints tackling. And Saints a lot want uh, Swinton to uh, penetrate the line in this second half. Jackson, long to Edwards, turns it back inside. Skeet back it up, he flicks it outside to Pickavance, yes. Pickavance is in for his second. He's only touched the ball about three times, he scored two tries. second try and it must have, must have been just about time for him to score, he scored one in the 36th minute of the first half and 35 minutes of the second half gone and he's on the board again the second of the afternoon Swinton moving it over quickly penalised uh, just uh, in front of all position on the 25 for uh, Stuart Evans allegedly taking Joe Rapati out of the game, no Rapati was coming through, he couldn't take the ball and Evans uh, committed to the tackle but uh, referee Allen penalising him. Saints, uh, Swinton kicked the ball up and was within five yards of the Saints line. Then they have to move it over to the left. Quick hand from Swinton and pick up finished off. The conversion attempt from Ashall, waved away by the touch judges. Four minutes of the game to play. Eight points to Swinton. 18 points to the Saints. Man of the match award just been announced. Phil Beavers, popular decision there, as Phil Beavers named as the man of the match. Nothing more than you can expect from this popular Aussie. Been at Saints since the 84-85 season. Came over with uh, Malmeninga. And been uh, a popular figure here ever since. Saints penalised for head-high tackling. Sabritsky looking to find touch on the far side, but Beavers trying to keep it in, just uh, couldn't do so. Swinton, Melling to play the ball. But Saints penalised for offside again. Referee Allen moving back. Penalised to the Saints. A seven to three. Seven penalties to Swinton. Three to the Saints in the second half. And Swinton trying to put a charge on. Surely it's uh, too late. Trailing by ten points. But Saints will have to stick to the end. 
18 points to 8 to score. Swinton in possession. Morrison running hard, as he's done most of the match, but the ball's loose. Harrison comes up with it. Sage just slowing it down there. The peg in their own 25. Edmonds has to take the tackle. But the ball's loose again. An unforced error from the Saints. Swinton back in possession. Pick advance from dummy half. Trying to get past his man. Bernard Dwyer wraps him up. And the ball being moved across field. Jackson, Edwards, loose play. Well, wraps up there by Ashall. Paley comes in. Bounds him to the ground. Ramson attacks it half back. Swinton on the charge. Jackson again. Can they finish with a flourish? Interception there, Bernard Dwyer. As Sabritsky and Rapati collide with each other. But Bernard Dwyer did well there. But a knock on being ruled. Surely the man who was facing uh, his own posts. When uh, he flicked it back. But a knock on being indicated by referee Allard. Swinton coming up with scrum possession. Moving it quickly, Rapati coming over to his wingman, Ramson. Runs round the back of Melly of uh, Jackson. Saint turns to get on side as Melly takes up the dummy half position. A blind side move from Fusil on to Skeech. Looking for support on the inside. But Saints forced to defend tirelessly right to the end. Jackson again, looking with a cut-out pass. He sees a gap, he tries to go for it, but he's well wrapped up. Kevin Ward wrapping him up, centre field. Sabritsky, Ashall, long ball outside. Saints wrap him up. Swinton still in possession, the ball's lost. Must be a scrum down. Referee Allard, well, referee Allard looking to the touch judge and... Uh, a penalty award, decision that the ball's been raked out. Swinton still in possession, Rapati again. But Lachlan wraps him up this time. Les Quirk comes in and makes sure he doesn't get up. We played 40 minutes in the second half, just a stoppage time to play. Saints leading by 10 points. 18 points to 8, and there certainly hasn't been a lot in the uh, ties between uh, Swinton and Saints over the years. Rapati now. Moves it left, on to Sabritsky, looking for support. A good clamp tackle there, there's the final hooter. Saints running out winners by 18 points to 8. What a hard cup tie, trailing 4 points to 2 with that late pick of try at half-time. Then in the second half, Saints came out with all guns a-blazing. Tries from Harrison, Rapati and Bailey in the first 10 minutes. The latter two goal by Lachlan. And then just that pick to try five minutes before the Hooter. Uh, Swinton's only score in the second half. So the final score, 18 points to eight. The man of the match, Phil Beavers. As I said, there's not been a lot in the uh, scores over the seasons against Swinton, but certainly the Saints and Law, they've been in a tough uh, cup tie. They look uh, forward to going into the bank for the second round draw this Thursday with the postponement of a lot of ties due to the weather. Well, thanks once again for joining us here at uh, Main Road at Manchester City's ground. We don't know whether we'll be at home next uh, Sunday against Hull with uh, the Test match being played. I certainly hope we are, but uh, obviously we'll see you uh, as soon as possible. Thanks once again for joining us. Tackle shoot the ball from Quirk's hands and he puts Swinton back in possession with Imon Ratu. He plays the ball now. Pitch him up, dummy half. On to Jackson, the scrum half. Misses one out. Swinton on the chat. What a super tackle there from Rapati. Closes him down. Man and ball. Blindside play again from Swinton. Pusil inside the Good ball handling skills. He's on to Logan Edwards. Forward pass to Pickavance. But he's driving for the line. He'll score with Pickavance. He touches down. Swinton with the first try. Up. Ramson again goes in for the tackle. On to Harrison, Bailey, Lachlan, on to Jones. He's running hard. Jones still going. Inside to Bailey. Yes, of all, when he was taken before he had the ball, there's Julie. But he's still got the possession of the Saints player. Dwyer inside to Ward, running hard. It was Sierra Patty that was taken down, but Saints still spreading it. Bernard Dwyer 
Swinton forced to defend. Saints on the charge. Cooper, Bailey, Lachlan, job on to Beavers. Out to Harrison, yes. Harrison in. Touch foul just short of the halfway line. Swinton making a substitution now with Alex Malling coming on for uh, Ratu. He was certainly uh, holding his arm going off at half time, so he must have an arm injury. But Saints in possession and John Harrison driving it up hard and straight. Jackson's gone to full back now. Cooper onto Rapati. Beavers breaks through the tackle, hunts with him. Beavers driving an answer. Inside one. Stuart Adams, first receiver. Saints just running it up, two or three forward drives and then uh, move it out. John Harrison now. Tough customer, but Morrison going in uh, over the top. The third Swinton tackler. Cooper again, Kevin Ward, running rampant. Yes, yeah, good ball to Bailey. Oh, Bailey the brilliant try. Saints tackling, and Saints a lot want uh, Swinton to uh, penetrate the line in this second half. Jackson, long to Edwards, turns it back inside, Skeets back it up, he flicks it outside to Pickavance, yes, Pickavance is in for his second, he's only touched the ball about three times, he scored two tries.